This is a standard T8 fluorescent light fixture. Uh, they are, there's two tubes and they're four foot long. What I'd actually like to do is uh, go ahead and replace these tubes and do the conversion so that I can use single-ended LED tubes. Uh, it'll be a lot brighter and save electricity. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is pretty much cut all the wires. The only wires we don't need to cut are is the ground wire um, going to the, the fixture itself, but everything else we can go ahead and cut. So you can see all we have left now is two wires coming out of each side of the tombstone and we have this transformer and we don't need that for the LED fixtures. So we're going to remove that, trick to get out of here, there we go that part. And so now all you got left is a fairly simple piece of plastic and tombstones with wires sticking out. So in my other video, um, we were dealing with shunted uh, tombstones. Now in this case, these are non-shunted tombstones. And so we, it makes the job even easier. We don't need to swap them out. We don't need to take, take the tops off and redo any wiring. Basically, everything's done for us. All we had to do is remove that transformer and the other ballast. So what I'm gonna do is, we gotta make sure, I'll show you how to make sure that they're non-shunted um, so you can see there's two contacts um, that goes to each uh, pin each contact on the uh, fluorescent tube I'm going to put two ohm meter leads on each side and we're going to show that there is no there is no path from one to the other as you can see, there is no path between the two, so thus they are non-shunted. And you can see from the ohm meter, if I touch these two together, it goes to zero ohms. So we know this measurement is being done correctly, and this is exactly what we need. So just going to strip the wires to start. All right, so now we've got all the wires stripped, and the incoming uh, power wire that's taken care of. So essentially what we need to do is we're gonna use two wire nuts to tie um, three wires together. Okay, so you can see I've tied the left side, or the same side over here, to the same side over here, and then to one of the incoming power wires. Let's see, make sure that that's visible. Now we're going to do the same for the other side. All right, so now we can put this thing back together. All we have left now, I've taken care of this end. This is all wired up and ready for the, the live end of the um, LED tubes. Remember, this is a single-ended installation. So the other end over here will not have any electricity going through it. Um, the tombstones over here are just to hold it in place, um, unlike the traditional fluorescent tubes. 
So all we got left here is um, this ballast and the wiring. So again, I'm just gonna cut the wires over here. Um, there's no reason to keep them around. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we'll go ahead and install this. Okay. So that looks pretty clean. Now I just gotta put this back in. There we go. So that's in good. Bent this out of shape just a little bit. So straighten that out. What we have here is a single-ended LED tube. Um, you can see it's lined with LEDs from the one end to the other. It does have uh, leads on both ends. However, if you see on one end, it's labeled AC input. So that is the end that we're gonna stick over here on. So that's, this is the AC end, and we're gonna stick that on the side that has our power. And then we're gonna twist that into place. These are Hypericon. I'm not even sure that's how you say it. Hypericon 18 watt um, single ended output tubes. I got them off Amazon. I'm sure they're available other places. Um, I've used them in several other places in our home. They seem to work reliably, not had any fail, and they're pretty easy to install. So again, look for the end that says AC input, and we'll go ahead and install this. Okay. So now we got both tubes installed. So what we'll do now is uh, go ahead and try it out. Hopefully not seeing the uh, sparks or anything bad happen when I plug this in. Um, otherwise it'd make another good, or good YouTube video for another reason. Um, but here we go. So lights work good. Thanks for watching the video.